Time to play with some clay. All right, I've got a special announcement to make, and it's an exciting announcement, and I've been waiting for this for a long time. I knew this was going to happen, but uh, I think I'll un unveil it now. This is uh, the surprise. I've had a lot of people inquire, where can you get them, why can't I find them, what's going on, and I haven't been able to give an answer because I didn't know the answer, but now... A wonderful uh, store in Loveland, Colorado that supplies everything sculpture to artists all over the world is now obtained the rights to reproduce true form armatures. Now I know a lot of you out there have been dying to get some and uh, you've been asking me questions about how to find them and I've been, I have been unable to give you an answer because they have not been available for two years or more. Uh, Sculpture Depot used to sell them but they couldn't get uh, them into stock and they just purchased the rights to reproduce these uh, wonderful, wonderful armatures. And uh, they're all adjustable uh, and, and you got incredible uh, bone structure, hips, rib cage, skull, the arms. Uh, they Now I'm going to show you uh, one that I started sculpting on several years ago and never finished. This is a smaller version of the same thing. The uh, rib cage is covered with clay and the, the uh, skull is covered, covered with clay. This smaller one didn't have bones in the uh, arms, it was just wires. But Karen was telling me today that they're going to see about getting these with the uh, bone structure as well. So keep in touch with them uh, for that update. It's going to take a while for them to get in production. Uh, they've just gotten the molds and all the material that they need to start producing these. And she was talking about hopefully getting into production by August. Um, I would say probably August, maybe September at the latest. But if you want a true form armature of the human, uh, I would get uh, your order in now and, and at least give them half down. Uh, now I don't know if they've got them listed as, on, as far as the price of these uh, are going to be and stuff like that yet. But keep looking at their website. Uh, contact them, tell them to inform you as soon as that, uh, they get to that point. Now, they also will be reproducing another armature, the uh, horse armature, which I know a lot of people have wanted to get. And uh, it's a great armature. It, it's all proportional. Uh, you can adjust the legs and the, you can bend them at the knees and stuff like that. I've got a, a video, and I'm going to include it on this video, um, how to set up your true form armature. And uh, it's, a, it's a great armature system. And you can really get the feel of how your figure is going to be when you start moving the bones around and stuff like that, moving the legs around. and. Uh, and then you can start putting the clay on it and stuff like that. It's just unbelievable. Armature from True Form Armatures. I just received in the mail, and uh, or not mail, but uh, from UPS. Um, I wanted to show you this because they got a new system for locking down the angle of this support right here. And uh, you can uh, just lock it in place real easy by just uh, raising up, uh, leveling it off where you want it. You can put it at any angle you want uh, into the back of the figure, so that means you can put the figure at any position you want to on this uh, stand uh, by unbolting both ends of this sleeve. 
you can move the rod in and out uh, depending on um, the distance from this that uh, this figure will be. You can unbolt these two things on this sleeve, raise and lower this all the way up to the top if you want uh, for height. Now this one I'm, uh, I came up with an idea for a sculpture yesterday at the uh, foundry and I did a kind of a quick sketch. Um, and uh, it's going to be standing on top of a, a, a mountain, the figure, and so you just mount the uh, armature uh, onto that rod. There's a slot in the rod. Then you take your locking nut or your nut to uh, go down onto the uh, end of that, and that locks it in place uh, so that you've got your armature supporting the full figure and uh, this one like I said will be standing on top of a mountain uh, you, when uh, you use these true form armatures uh, like I'm doing right now uh, you can change the angle of the, the thorax uh, the angle of the arms and if you noticed I grabbed at the joint not out here to move it up because if you do uh, there's no wire in these uh, resin arms and uh, they will break. Uh, if it does break, don't worry, True Form will replace it for a cost, of course. Uh, same thing with the legs and that. You always grab at the joint or the bottom joint and the top joint to uh, bend. You never bend from here or from here. Um, once I establish how I'm going to have this, uh, once I build up the uh, platform or the base of the uh, thing to come up to meet it, then I'll lock all this down uh, solid, and right now it's not. But I just wanted to give you a quick look at it. Uh, this is going to be my next piece. Uh, it's going to I can change the angle of the hips, uh, the angle of the thorax. Uh, I need to get that nut on there properly. There we go have it all the way on. There we go. But anyway, once you, you tighten it all down, and I can tighten it with the, this right here, uh, then you've got your figure uh, set up, and I want to bring back the leg and bend the uh, knees just a little bit. Uh, maybe bring that leg out a little bit. If I wanted to bend the head, I'd just bend it like that. Um, you can take the head off, you can work on that separate, uh, you can take the arms off because uh, this uh, aluminum rod just only goes in so far, but it, it, there's a hole there and you can take the arm off and sculpt, a, sculpt the arm separately. You can uh, take the bottom of the leg off because it's the same system where uh, you can take off the uh, right at the joint there. Uh, you can't take these off because uh, the wire is bent down and through. So uh, that would be uh, hard to do. But uh, everything else is beautifully made here. You can change the angle of the hips if you want. And, uh, and loosening up the uh, rod, you can actually change the angle of the, uh, the rod so that you can you pretty well set this thing, this figure, any, any uh, possible imaginable uh, way uh, and have support for it. I'm going to talk uh, in this video about the horse armature. This is the uh, smallest horse armature that they have and uh, there's two sizes right now and they could change at some point in the future because uh, this is brand new and just came out and at, at one time they didn't even have the horse armature uh, but uh, they came out with a quarter size horse which I'll show you right now. You can see the size difference and this is a one six size horse here. And you can see the size difference, uh, they're both the same kind of armature system, uh, just different sizes. What I'm going to show you and demonstrate on right now is the uh, small horse, the uh, one six life size horse, and uh, show you how to uh, use the armature without breaking it because they're durable but uh, they're not indestructible. Now the true form uh, horse armature system when you order one, uh, it comes with a base and a support. And let me just show you how simple this is to put together. This is the uh, system that you get. You get the horse all wrapped up in uh, bubble wrap. And if you notice in the back of the horse, you know, looking down, 
you can see where there's a wire going through here. Now that wire runs all the way through here and all the way up into the neck. And that's the main support of this horse. And it goes right through this uh, foam uh, body here. Now, uh, the reason they have that wire and that hole is because the armature, which I'll show you in a video right now, there's a slot in this uh, threaded rod that you uh, slip the uh, center wire uh, in, inside the uh, thorax down onto. What you do is you just drop the horse down onto that slot, that wire that's in the center, and there's a nut that's supplied with the uh, armature that uh, matches the threads on the uh, main support. You just tighten it down and voila! You have an ar horse armature that's supported and, and stuff like that. Um, if you don't want the uh, body to move back and forth, I would suggest stuffing clay up in here uh, before you start sculpting up into the hole just to keep uh, to solidify that uh, so that it doesn't move. You can adjust the uh, angle of the horse a little bit there. If you want to uh, make the horse into a tighter turn, uh, like he's running and uh, barrel racing or something like that, and you, the horse is at, instead of standing straight up, he'd be more of at an angle, you would take this uh, plate off this board. By the way, you can uh, you don't have to be restricted to the board. You can you can actually use this system on any board because all it, is, it takes is just a couple you know these screws to go into whatever board you put it on. You undo these screws. You make a wedge at the angle that you want the horse to be at in your sculpture, and then you just uh, glue it to the board that you're going to have it on, and uh, then you put the the uh, plate down on that. At, and it will automatically take the angle of that wedge and you screw it onto that uh, support and uh, your horse is at a different angle. Um, the horse can be adjusted in length depending on what kind of horse you're doing, uh, you know, an Arabian or a quarter horse. You can just push in on the hips, make uh, the distance between the rear flank uh, or the rear part of the horse shorter, or you can pull on it to uh, lengthen the horse. Uh, depending on the horse you're doing. Uh, the horse's head comes off very easily and if you want to work on the horse's head uh, separately uh, you just make a, a, a get wire gauge the same thickness as this um, and match it and uh, make a little jig and just do your head separately uh, so that you can work it on, on it uh, in a more comfortable position and then it's just a matter of putting his head back on to the body. The uh, legs uh, are, uh, they, 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 these foam uh, bones do not have, or resin bones, do not have wire going down through them. Uh, the uh, wire just goes in so far into the bone at both points of the joint and uh, so you got to be very careful when you bend these because you, these are very thin. They're very durable for clay and stuff like that, but they're not indestructible. So uh, what you want to do is grab above and below the joint and just adjust it that way by uh, pulling in and out. And do it slowly. Don't do it fast. You don't want to be breaking any line speed records. Um, and bend it up. And then, of course, uh, the same thing with this part of the bone here, you can take it out like that, or you can take it down like that. But you always grab above and below the joint. Um, the wire in some of the older uh, versions of this uh, uh, are steel wire, and they're harder to bend. You've got to be very careful because if you don't know that that's steel and you go to bend it, you could break that bone right there. Uh, but now they put aluminum wire into them and it's easier to bend, but you still hold on to the uh, joint because you don't want to take any chance of breaking the uh, bone. Same goes for up here, back here. Oh, and, and then you can change the, the position of the shoulder by just holding on to the joint right there, going forward or going backwards. Uh, this uh, is, uh, I guess, you know, they, they're connected, the two shoulder blades, through the uh, foam uh, thorax uh, so that uh, they swing like that and after you get it in position where you want it and just put clay underneath the uh, shoulder blade 
to uh, keep it in position while you're working on it. Uh, the rear leg, uh, same thing, uh, just hold on to the um, upper bone or the upper part of the bone and, and just uh, uh, twist it uh, forward. Now these have cuts in it. This one has a cut in it where you can lengthen this bone even longer if you, if you need to make it longer. Uh, there's a wire going through that so that you can actually uh, lengthen the bone a little. Um, uh, same thing with all down here. I'm going to show you. Uh, just uh, grab above and below the, uh, the joint and bend backwards. Uh, and same here, forward, and the, the uh, wire in the, down here below the uh, leg where the hoof is. You can put it in any position you want to by just bending it. If it's steel wire, and should test it before you go bending it. If, it does, if you have resistance, it's, it's the steel wire. And if it is, then you want to take a pair of needle nose pliers and just hold it right there and bend it with the needle nose while holding the uh, bone. You don't ever want to put any pressure on the center part of the bone. Um, if you want to uh, bend the, the back of the horse or, or change the position of the hips for the movement of the horse, you just bend down on it. The, the whole system bends down and takes uh, any position you want. Um, and, and likewise for the other, other direction as well. I'll tell you, uh, these armatures will save you hours and hours of uh, armature making. Um, when I first started, it took me a long time before I got the courage to uh, do my first horse because of the fact that I had no idea how to make the armature. They ended up making their armatures the same way I make mine, but I do it with just wire and different, and much different than what you see here. My support is always in the, in the belly though. All right, that's gonna do it uh, for this uh, video on uh, the horse armature. Uh, what I did on the small horse is the same thing you do on the larger horse. Uh, it, it's no, there's no difference. So get your order in. Get, uh, give them the incentive to get push it on these production of these armatures by at least getting half down on these armatures to them and you'll be some of the first to receive these. And uh, let them know how many you want, uh, if you want more than one, and uh, what size. They'll have it up on their website, I'm sure, pretty soon. And uh, they'll have all the prices and everything there. All right, that's the good news. That's, uh, I can't tell you how happy I am. Uh, I've been holding off using these armatures for that reason, because they haven't been available, and I didn't want to tease you with them. All right, sculturedepot.net. See you later, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.